you haven't been uploading a ton for the past year or so. Are you just kind of like burned out or focusing on your original music or what's what's going on? I think a lot of that was uh, lockdown. I definitely I think I think that's kind of when I stopped uploading on a regular basis was lockdowns. Um, like I think I just kind of got depressed and I wasn't because I used to live in a house that had my whole team there. You know, I had my camera guy, the editor. Um, I had an assistant, my buddy Austin, who I make film uh, videos with all the time. Mm -hmm. And so we were always just there working together and doing all that stuff. So then we moved out of that house, like right when lockdown started and I moved into a house by myself and it was just a completely different dynamic. Um, it wasn't the same vibe. It wasn't as, I don't know, fun for me anymore. Um, and then obviously like everything going on with the world at the time, I, I kind of got to a point where I was like, what's the point of even kind of doing this right now? Cause everything is crazy in the world, you know? Um, so I think I got a little depressed for sure. And then, uh, kind of fell into a lot of, you know, drinking and just not doing what I should be doing. And that went on for probably about a year and a half. And then I went and saw a therapist for like six months, which helped a little bit, um, stopped drinking and just started to picture what the future looks like as far as, you know, doing music and doing content. What do I need to do to get to a point again where we can have a well-oiled machine, you know? Um, so that's what I've been doing. And I have a team now. Um, I have a few people that I'm working with. Actually, I think it's your short editor is the same person mm -hmm. doing Ant? my shorts. Yeah. Yeah. She's, yeah, she's great. Her. Yeah. She's great. Um, I saw you made a post uh, on Instagram because I've been looking and then I saw your post and I was like, oh, well, for sure. So working with her, have a camera guy. Uh, me and my buddy Austin are still uh, doing a bunch of content and we're ramping up kind of on the second channel doing a lot of stuff, uh, which is the Dickie Dine show. It's a channel that we've had for, you know, you've been seven. pretty consistent with that, right? More so. Yeah. Cause those videos are more kind of table talk. We sit there and just chat and react to stuff or give our opinions on music. It's, it's way more podcasty, which we actually did just start a podcast, um, which we should have you on, by the way, we're on episode three. We Anytime. just, we just did one with Stevie T which was funny, goofy boy. Um, anyways, so yeah, I went through all that and then now finally getting back to a place where I have all these ideas for videos. I just didn't have the, I guess a little bit motivation, yeah, but more so I would say the discipline to kind of, you know, get them done. Whereas now I, I am much more in that mental health state to do that and go and get back into it. So like we just did the mansion thing. That was like a six month project um, of planning. I uh, missed you there, by the way, but I totally yeah, understand. I wish I could have gone to that. I really wanted to, but I was just like with the baby, I it's, I just realized it's just not. Oh, for realistic. sure. I, yeah, I totally get it. It was a lot of fun though. Um, I love doing content where it's very collaborative. I've always, even before YouTube, that's the kind of stuff that I used to do when I had a recording studio, um, just having a bunch of bands in, or I would write a song and I would have every vocalist who wanted to from the local metal scene come over on like a Saturday. And then we'd record 30 vocalists on one song and we would release it. So I've always enjoyed the collaborative stuff. So we did that. And then um, I'm just trying to like, see how the next five year, three to five years looks what I want it to look like as far as content and what's reasonable and realistic and something that I won't get burnt out doing. I don't. So a lot of people are like, Oh, Jared's quitting YouTube. He's burned out, but that's not the case. No, I mean, I definitely, I do tend to get burnt out if I'm the only one doing everything. If I for have to sure. come up with the idea and then record every instrument for whatever I'm doing and then set up the camera, set up lights, film it, make yeah. sure that looks good, and then drop in the computer, edit it, promote it on socials, and then release it. It's like, man, I'm doing like the job of like five or six Literally people. Literally five people, yeah. Yeah. 
Um, which I guess is fine if you're doing content that's more simple where, you know, either you're kind of playing video games or you're just sitting there talking. I don't typically do that. So a lot of my videos take two, three, four days to even get done if I'm doing them myself. Um, that's when I start getting burnt out. If I have a good team around me, I don't think I really get burnt out because I genuinely enjoy the content that I make, the videos that I do. I do genuinely like I don't I don't make a video. I, I mean, I guess I probably have in the past made a few videos that were just like, I got to get a video out. I don't know what to do, yeah. like whatever. But of course, people always tell that it's a throwaway <laughs> video, right? You know, like, this video sucks. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I, I, I genuinely so do enjoy it. 